Are you trying to establish your brand as a thought leader? Start a podcast, invite industry experts to be guests on your show and watch your brand become the prime resource for decision makers in your industry. Learn more at sweetfishmedia.com. You're listening to B2B Growth, a daily podcast for B2B leaders. We've interviewed names you've probably heard before, like Gary Vaynerchuk and Simon Sinek, but you've probably never heard from the majority of our guests. That's because the bulk of our interviews aren't with professional speakers and authors. Most of our guests are in the trenches leading sales and marketing teams. They're implementing strategy. They're experimenting with tactics. They're building the fastest growing B2B companies in the world. My name is James Carberry. I'm the founder of Sweetfish Media, a podcast agency for B2B brands, and I'm also one of the co-hosts of this show. When we're not interviewing sales and marketing leaders, you'll hear stories from behind the scenes of our own business. We'll share the ups and downs of our journey as we attempt to take over the world. Just kidding. Well, maybe. Let's get into the show. Hey, everybody. Logan with Sweetfish here. Before we get straight into today's interview, I wanted to let you know about another podcast you might enjoy. If you are a regular listener of this show, you'll probably really like the B2B Revenue Executive Experience with Chad Sanderson over at Value Selling Associates. Chad is a good friend of ours here at Sweetfish, a phenomenal podcast host. I really liked one of his older episodes from probably a year back with Todd Capone, the author of The Transparency Sale. Great conversation about leveraging honesty, transparency, and a value-added approach in B2B sales. Check out the B2B Revenue Executive Experience with Chad Sanderson on Apple Podcasts or anywhere you do your list. All right, now let's really get into the show. Welcome back to B2B Growth. I'm Logan Lyles with Sweetfish Media. I don't have a guest with me today. It's actually going to be another episode here in our How to Podcast series, and it's just me. But we're in the holiday season, and so I wanted to take a few minutes to answer a question that we get all the time, not only in this time of year, but throughout the year when it comes to major holidays. And that question is this, should I release podcast episodes on holidays? Our short answer is yes, and I'm going to give you a few reasons why. We're closing in on 1,200 episodes here on the B2B Growth Show, and we've actually never seen a dip in download numbers on the holidays. In fact, James and I were talking about it the other day. We often see spikes. Now, exactly the reasons for this, we we can't exactly tell, but you you just think about the way that people consume podcast content. A lot of people that I know, like Ethan Butte over at BombBomb, he's shared with me, he doesn't necessarily listen to podcasts on the regular, but when he knows he has some some time going for a run or travel or something like that, he will find shows that he wants to really binge on and go and download a bunch of them. And so it could be scenarios like that where folks are loading up their podcast queues for some downtime away from the office and during travel um, that they are focusing on you know, consuming some content in areas that they want to dig deeper on. So you've got that in your favor. So don't assume assume that everyone is totally tuned out, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, or any other holiday week or weekend. The other thing to think about is that podcast consumption is a little different than our social media feeds, right? LinkedIn and others aren't completely chronological these days, but there is a lot to be said for peak times. You know, for me, I know if I post on LinkedIn on Mondays, they tend to see a lot more visibility than Fridays. If I post earlier in the day than later, in the day, I've seen some drastic differences. Now, I've talked to other folks like Dale Dupree, who co-hosts over on the B2B sales show, that he sees more engagement on Fridays than Mondays. So we all know there are a lot of nuances there. But the fact of the matter is, when it comes to thinking about social media, you often think about you know those peak times. However, with podcasting, once someone is subscribed, they're likely going to get to your episode, even if it isn't, you know, the day that the episode drops. Case in point, on B2B Growth, our episodes don't start to plateau until about eight weeks after the episode has been live. And that's pretty true of most podcasts is the vast majority of your downloads don't necessarily happen on the day of release. I've had guests on our show say, oh, my episode's going to go live on Thanksgiving or New Year's Eve. Can you shift that? Because you know people aren't going to be tuned in. Well, 
even if they're not tuning in over that holiday break, like I mentioned earlier, they are going to be tuning in when they get back into their regular rhythm of things if they weren't during the downtime away from the office. And so what's going to really drive whether people download and listen is your headline quality and the quality of your content much more than the timing of that release. And as we talk about a lot on this show, consistency and volume of episodes we've seen time and time again lead to greater success with your podcast. It's part of the reason that we're building out shows, bringing together multiple brands that are hosting series alongside each other in one feed so that we can crank up the volume for everyone. And it is a lighter lift because as much as we talk about volume in podcasting, we know that we all are trying to do more with less in our marketing departments. That's a topic for another day. But as you think about your podcasting schedule going into 2020, I would highly encourage you, don't skip the holidays. Don't skip Memorial Day. Don't skip Easter. Don't skip Christmas or Hanukkah or New Year's or any of those. Release your episodes on a regular cadence. Keep that consistency with your listeners. Don't break their trust by stopping production, even if it is a little bit of a changeup. Maybe you want to try something new. Those holidays might be the time to to try a new episode, but keep publishing, keep on podcasting. So that's my encouragement to all of y'all listening. Keep on releasing your episodes, even on the holidays. And those are a few reasons why. Hope you found this helpful. If we're not yet connected, please reach out to me on LinkedIn. I'm Logan Lyles, L-O-G-A-N-L-Y-L-E-S. On Instagram, someone stole at Logan Lyles. I don't have that handle, but you can reach me at I am Logan Lyles on Instagram. On Twitter, I'm at Logan Lyles. That one's nice and easy. As always, Thank you so much for listening. We totally get it. We publish a ton of content on this podcast and it can be a lot to keep up with. That's why we've started the B2B Growth Big Three, a no-fluff email that boils down our three biggest takeaways from an entire week of episodes. Sign up today at sweetfishmedia.com slash big three. That's sweetfishmedia.com slash big three.